When are we going to learn that small box and small cage means no, no, poor hamster? Welcome everybody, my name is Munchie and thank you for joining me on another unboxing video of a hamster, small animal, mouse, gerbil, you name it cage. This is from Amazon, which you guys might be familiar with. They tend to post good cages and bad cages. Good cages with bunch and bunch of stuff to do for the animal and big enough bag cages where they say an iguana <laughs> could fit inside of them. So that's why I like choking whenever I hear the title guinea pig, iguana, chinchilla, crocodile, you name it. And this kind of feels just like that because if something's as small as this, we call that the shoebox size enclosure. Say it with me now, shoebox size enclosure, bad for small animal. You are going to see how big this is when I assemble it. And I guess I could also share with you the description on Amazon. But I think that would just kind of spoil it if I said that right away, because you're really, really curious, right? So let's open this and then I'll show you the ad on Amazon. Also, let me know if there's any lefties out there because I don't know enough lefties in this world and I feel like I'm so alone all the time. So uh, let me know if you're a lefty too. The company name of this is Lena Gaga, which shows right here on the front of the box. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> what is the point of this? Is this a toy? What? Is, okay, so. <laughs> How? 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 And it's all taped. I don't know if you can see that because I'm like really close to the camera, but it's all taped right there. Why? This is such a joke. And like the worst part too is that like instead of having slits in the bottom for the urine to get out of, they have slits in the sides where urine never goes to. Like, what is this? It's very heavy duty plastic too, but there's no hamster that can fit something this small. You know what? Let's measure this right now. Four inches but the width of it is only four inches, four by four. This is going to be terrible. <laughs> I can already sense it. We got a little hide. So this thing, I forgot exactly what material this is, but I don't use stuff like this anymore because it's so easy to chew. Yes, it's easy to assemble, but it's also easy for it to just fall apart all willy nilly. And then, oh, <laughs> we got a bunch of rubber bands and little tiny screws. So this looks like I'm gonna be having some fun here. This is, I guess, how the wheel fits in there. You just take this little piece off that this is really rubbery, stick it in, and then yeah, cap it. That's how it spins right there. Okay, putting that down. Next, we have glass. Wait, how come this glass was not properly sealed? There is nothing around this glass when it came in. It literally came like, like that inside of here. You saw me open it. There is no bubble wrap in here. There is nothing to protect the glass. If the shipment container got jostled around, this could have been broken. We have a water bottle, tiny one, and then we have a tiny glass, which this is probably considered the food dish. But technically this would actually be really good for a water dish for very small animals. I'm not gonna take this out for demonstration purposes, but just to show you how it's supposed to attach to the cage, it attaches that way. Well, this isn't technically a cage. <laughs> it's a torture chamber. Here is some how to assemble the hamster cage in the darkest photos imaginable. Very dark, so not impressed. And then of course, really dark images of how to assemble the wheel, which that is not the wheel we got. I just realized this. I was supposed to get a different wheel, wasn't I? Cause this is not the wheel it's supposed to come with. I'm gonna complain about that upon my return because I'm not keeping this. This is just for demonstration purposes by the way, so that you guys won't get fooled and hopefully the people that do happen to see this and say that's actually a good deal money wise, but don't understand the size of it or the function of it, hopefully they'll be persuaded not to get this. So that's why I make these reviews. So here we go. I'm just gonna open this. Oh my, <laughs> we're not even to the building part. Look at this. That is so poor. Oh my God. They didn't clean this up at all. God, you know what? Should I not even assemble this and just complain to the people that it came looking like absolute garbage because it did. Wow, 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 wow. By the way, this has a film on it. And if I take the film off, maybe it would look better. I mean, that's probably what's happening here. So this is all just film paper. All right, you ready for me to pull this off in front of you guys? If I can even attempt to pull it off. Guys, Munchie can't pull it off. 
I can't do it. I can do it. Hooray, I somewhat got it. Oh, oh, but that's not good sounding. Uh, 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 uh. Why? I will say, like, I do appreciate them putting film on it so it doesn't get scratched, but I think this is the worst thing besides styrofoam. Remember my worst enemy? Styrofoam, because you know, I'm I'm super like bolt. I think I might just be weak to uh, film wrap because uh, I hate this stuff so much. Okay, never mind. We're good. It was just the film. It was just the film. It was not the actual acrylic clear part, which actually this looks really clear. Oh, I'm gonna have to unfilm all of this off camera. You're not gonna want to stick around for this. I tied myself. I got it done in 7:23, and this also included these really you, you, you can't, I just realized I'm basically like holding up glass unless you see the reflection here. I had to get it off of these. I had to get it off of these. I had to get it off of, and I'm probably gonna lose some of these. All of this. So that's taken care of now. Step one, peel off. Step two, find the top side panels and assemble them according to position. Step three, put the little rubber bands on the sides to hold them in place. Uh, the protruding direction of the card slot should be consistent. Install bottom plate and the protruding direction of the card slot should be consistent. Install the back plane, back plane, back panel, plane, back plane, is that, is that what it's called? Anyways, install the door panel, then install the bezel on the lower part of the door panel. And then I guess the bezel is this one right here. Is that what it's called? Yes, it actually it is. I did not know. Then it says fix the handle on the side plate with the included screws. Then the reserve pipe port can be sealed with the attached tool. Oh, okay. Let's change the angle view. Time to assemble. Okay, that one's better. It's so flimsy. Ah, no, 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 no. This is gonna be the video where you hear a bunch of sounds from Munchie that you might not have heard ever before. I, I feel like I did do this right, because that would be the front, right? This would be the front. Okay, okay, I think I got it. This thing is attracting all of my cat and dog hair. Oh my God, okay. I, I, I literally feel like I'm gonna break this. Cause that's how I broke the last one. If you guys remember my other video, which I'll just put up on the screen now, that thing was smaller than this. Same concept. And I was gonna use that as a holding container for when I have to transfer over animals and or do a, a, a deep clean. It broke. I accidentally dropped it and it broke. And I had to throw it out because of how cheap the materials were. By the way, if you like me making cage reviews, suggest some cages down below. Please just don't link them, otherwise it'll get flagged. But just tell me the name of what you want me to review and I'll see if I can do it. And sometimes I like reviewing the extreme cages because, you know, <laughs> it's fun that way. It's interesting, it, it's exciting to me. I like just kind of wrapping my mind around building these things. And I could see why people like building Legos because <laughs> it's just kind of fun to assemble stuff. Frustrating when you can't get it done though. Maybe the cage you suggest will be the next one I review. Who knows? Oh, there's a panel. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so it's supposed to be right here. Slides in. It's hard for me to show you exactly what I'm doing. Put them together on the sides here, like so. And now I'm gonna put this on the bottom like so. All right, and then there is carriers, which for this demonstration, there is really no reason for me to attach the handles, but basically the handles would be going somewhere around here and you would screw it in so you can carry it. Like so, it's supposed to have handles like that. And then there is supposed to be a latch, which I guess I could show you next. There is huge holes right here. The hamsters could escape, like what? What am I supposed to cover this with? 
is that where like the the water bottle is supposed to go because that doesn't make any sense to me oh okay i have to look at the photo because now i'm absolutely confused okay so it is this big part right here is supposed to block this oops ah no how do i get in <laughs> someone tell me how do i get in? <laughs> oh it's supposed to open like this okay there we go so this part is supposed to block this over here because it allows them to get in and out which I guess I could try. Should I, should I even dare try? Oh, that, that doesn't go anywhere. How, what? Wait, that, that don't make sense where the hole is. What, what is this? Okay, look at it. It, it don't go in the hole. It's not big enough to. So that means this goes up here maybe, but I have nothing else that would cover this big hole right here. This is supposed to cover this and what the photo shows. And then this one right here is supposed to go right here. So it covers up this so that the water bottle can get in here like so. It's so bad. Okay, and then this one is supposed to go on the other side, supposedly. Ta-da! <laughs> it's coming together. <laughs> But yeah, I, I can't cover this one because there's no way for me to cover it. Yay, it's it's kind of finished and done. And then like the door, it just comes up and then it opens like so. But I, it's not safe because this can't make it all the way up. I don't know what they were thinking. It's just not put in the right spot. That's all dusty. I am, I'm getting just dust on me. Eh. Uh, I broke it. Well, the finishing touch at least will be for me. And I didn't do this on purpose. I just tried to apply it. I, I, now I can't get out. I, I just tried to, I just tried to apply it. I didn't mean to break that. I wanted to assemble it too. I don't want to broke it. <sighs> Let's put a hamster in here and call it good. And then I'll review what it says on Amazon. So the hamster that is going to demonstrate today is actually our smallest hamster. Her name is Miranda. She is a medical needs hamster because she had development issues where she didn't get enough nutrients and her teeth did not grow properly. And so unfortunately she lost her top two incisors. And so she only has her bottom two and they are constantly growing. So this is her. She is available for adoption, but honestly, I might just want to keep her. Now she's being a little sassy. What do you think, Miranda? I hear her chatting a bunch. This enclosure might be good for photo opportunities, especially with how cute Miranda is, but this is in no way an appropriate hamster enclosure. Please do not have your parents, if, if you're watching and you're a kid, please don't have your parents go for the cheapest option because usually you end up with enclosures like this very poor materials, they don't cater to the actual animal, and of course, it causes them stress if you have to keep something inside of here. This, oh, look at you. And she's still like chatting too, she's not happy. <laughs> Which I will go and put her back, but you can see how small and how terrible this cage is. Let's quickly go over the Amazon ad that you see right here. It says right here, Lena Gaga cage. I think they did that intentionally. Nobody is named Lena Gaga. Hamster cages and habitats home with hamster bedding, house, exercise wheel, toy, water bottle, food dish, hamster accessories, all in it for hamsters, pet, mice, gerbil, rat, rodent, small animals, small. Yes, I got the small one because I guess at one point they had a big one, usually $26.99. I don't remember if I got it on sale for $19.99, but it's on sale right now. And it says right here, it's 11 inches by seven inches. Target species hamster. And unfortunately there is six reviews on this. So that means parents or just people in general bought this and yeah, it's two and a half stars. Let's actually read the reviews. Great customer service, quick delivery as described when purchased. And that was March 9th. 
And this is all within this year because I believe this cage got re-uploaded. There are a bunch of sellers that have the same cage, but it's not, you know, within the same name necessarily. It's just like they say here, hamster habitat, yada, yada, yada. And this cage has probably been around for a long time, but this seller, it's a new item for this seller on Amazon because you can sell anything on Amazon, unfortunately. You can sell used items, third-party services, it can get kind of sketchy if you don't know what you're doing. So yeah, someone rated this four stars. And then this person on February 27th rated it five. It's a little flimsy, but it comes with rubber O-rings to secure cage. Instructions are not totally helpful, but helps get you in the right direction. Overall, it's a nice see-through cage. It's good for up to two small gerbils and hamsters, and it's a verified purchase. What are you talking about? My set did not come with bedding, but my gerbil loves shredded cardboard. No ink on cardboard as bedding. One person, Linda, says, cage not clear, made where mouse can't see out. My mistake, sorry. Uh, it did, or it did not match picture. I'm keeping, but not a good cage at all. One, Diana, too small, March 14th. This is nowhere near big enough for one hamster. Oh, this person didn't even buy this cage. This is just one of those hamster warriors out there who are protecting future investors from purchasing cages like this. But anyways, I'm not going to read that because it's not a verified purchase, but it does show that at least two hamster warriors out there have tried to do what's best for the community and tell them, don't buy this. So on March 11th and 14th, but unfortunately someone on March 20th had purchased it, gave it one stars. And that's the only other reviewer that posted after those two initial reviews. So in order for me to correctly rate an enclosure, I follow the set guidelines I have put in place for myself. One, can it safely house an animal without escaping? Two, is there adequate space for this animal and for the species of which it says it's for? Three, are the materials cheap and flimsy or strong and secure? And fourth, what are the features of this enclosure and do they enhance it? or do they hold it back? As for safety, no. I don't feel like this is a safe cage. Plus for the parts that I got and where the holes were screwed, it shows me that it cannot safely secure an animal inside of here because that one flap that is just not big enough to fit that hole. Size of this for the species of hamster, hamsters need at least 600 square inches of floor space. That's what California Hamster Association has said. Ontario is still on 450 square inches. So this right here is way too small. And in case anybody wonders, I have the numbers up on screen of how big this enclosure is overall. And materials, I broke it multiple times. It is very flimsy. Four for the features, the features include like the wheel and does it enhance it? No. Water bottle, it's another feature too. Does it enhance it? No. This cage is absolute trash. If I could give it zero stars, I would. It is not worth purchasing for $20. This is going to end up in a landfill. People have already made it. So unfortunately that is what's gonna happen to this. It is not usable at all with how flimsy it is. So please do not buy this cage. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a comment, let me know. And if you like the video, show some support by liking it back. And of course, if you are new here and would like to become a part of the Munchkin family on Munchies Place channel, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you again. Bye, please don't buy this. Thank you.